a producer told me. That Hi, my people. Not be smart, you know. Which can life be this one? Which can life be this one? This morning we just wake up. Ah, just see story say this woman don't die. Oh, see now she. Everybody come and the room where they carry come and say na cancer. Na na kill this woman. Later, later now see what you come to hear. Now the mom, the husband, now I give this woman R.O.I.P. Now the husband give this woman R.O.I.P. My people, this life, that is why I always tell some women, nobody when they go pull sugar for their mouth, will say, no, I like bitter leave. I don't normally blame single mothers. I don't blame single mothers. I'm not against them at all. Because sometimes, when you say something like this, this woman, not great, she don't cry, come out one day. Tell people, say, see what she, they pass through. Now, she, they form her. And me, when they sing for church, how tell, how tell, tell people, say, um, I, I can't leave marriage. You know better say you leave marriage. You dare life. You, you take care of your children. Then you die. Then you die. People, who will take care of your children? If you die because of marriage, who will take care of your children? Okay, now this woman don't die now. You don't want people to laugh at you. You don't want them to say anything about you. You pretend inside your marriage. You you were you were pretending. People were tapping. Oh, this woman, look at this woman. Oh my god. Oh, look at this beautiful couple. Oh, they are singers. Oh, I tap for your blessings. I tap for this blessing. Don't tap for anybody's blessing. You can tap for fire sometimes. All that glitter are no gold. Not what you see outside. Not what you see outside. Because you are not living with them. Pick pocket and pretend. Dress. Come outside. You think, ah, this, oh, look at this person. Oh my God. Oh. You will never know that that person is suffering. Suffering. If this woman leave this marriage now. People will be saying, oh, girl, look at this woman. Hey, she just she just want to be a single mother. Ah, look at this woman. She's a singer. Hey, hold oh, this woman. Why can't you just leave this marriage? Why can't you leave marriage? You, uh, we, 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 are you dear with that person? Do you know what that person is going through in there? That is why many people are blaming Cora. Hey, Cora, you want to go and just single mother? You want to go and just single mother? You better go back to Justin. My dear, it's better she joins a good mother and go and meet Justin to die early age. Nobody should judge any single mother again. It's not that I'm, I'm single. I'm not single. Look at my hand. I'm married, but I never one day against any single mother. Do you know what, what her mother has been through? Do you know what they've been through? Because of this domestic violence? Do you know what they've been through? Because they don't have opportunity then. They don't have voice. They don't have anybody to, to, to even save them. They don't have anybody to help them. If they move out of their matrimonial home, nobody will even accept them in their own house, in their own family. Nobody will accept them. That is why they bear what they bear. They were there. Even though, they, even though they are dying, they will still be there. They will still be there. Which is no good. If you know the marriage you are into, that you see that it's not working, my dear, better pack up luggages and move on. Marriage is a thing you enjoy. It's a thing you're supposed to enjoy, not a thing you suffer. 
with bruises. You tell me, uh, uh, what am I going to do now? Uh, it's, it's marriage. I have, uh, I have to stay. I have to stay. I know the man. Somebody that loves you will not punch you. Somebody that loves you will never beat you. Any, bo any man that beats you, that fights you, when you are still pregnant, that man can still beat you. That man will kill you one day. That man will kill you one day. That man will kill you one day. Everybody were saying this man just died of cancer. She just died of cancer. Please, my people, watch and hear from the horse's mouth. Please, if it is your first time of watching me, please subscribe to Queen Lati TV. If you like this video, please give me like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Don't know how somebody will be maybe jealous of their own wife or their own father. I have never these things scare me how somebody will be jealous about someone they love, maybe their progress, you're jealous of someone's progress, or maybe you think they are going to be bigger than you. I don't know what the problem was. I mean I'm just hearing now that you know a lot of people spoke to her to leave that because of the way the man spoke to me the first day that they begged me to be on conference call to just plead for him to allow her to just do her music you know say, hey, what kind of help are you people trying to i said I'm, i was on my own i paid money and this woman built a, a whole studio for this lady and he refused he literally refused um there's a lot of stories out there you know people saying you know, they told her, they, they told her, that the truth is, I didn't even know that it has gotten to the point of physical. But what I kept saying is that the control was too much. The control was too much. The other time, someone wanted me to get her for, for an event. And then she was, <laughs> she wanted me to say to the husband that the event was free because if the husband knew that they were going to pay her, she said he was going to collect the money. And I said, this thing is, too, the control is too much. How do you resolve this thing? How do you resolve? At the end of the day, the person end up, ended up not inviting her, you know? So I have friends that we, we spoke every day. I have colleagues, you know, in the industry that we spoke every day, but she's not one of them because of the control of you know this man had on her she's not one of them she'll be hiding to call she'll be hiding to call people so she couldn't even really tell people what she was going through people people actually didn't really know the intensity of what she was going through i only knew a little because auntie joy contacted me to see a way i can just help produce her music that's how i even got to know that oh they say we have to take permission from her husband before we help her and i'm like auntie joy what how can you want to help someone and you, then you take a permission to help them? Did you tell them? Didn't you tell them you're the one <laughs> spending money? Did, do they think that you want to make money? I don't understand it. So that was the one that I knew. The control. Before you go for a program, the person said, oh, you must, you must, you must talk to me first. Ah. Well done, sir.